Hey guys, this is Adrian from DFW Motorized Bikes and uh, MacarvyCycles.com. Um, today what I'm going to do, I've already removed the cylinder off of the uh, motor, which is going to go on this uh, fat tire bike. Um, port work, that's the topic for today. Uh, everyone that I've talked to uh, on different forums and sites and Facebook and all that have discouraged me from uh, putting a drill bit to widen the ports, do uh, the port work, to do uh, port matching. Um, you have the stock uh, intake uh, that is not very, not very large, not very well built. Uh, I have these, I sell these aluminum um, bigger uh, size intake so I mean just putting it up to there I'm not going to show you on camera but there's definitely uh, there's definitely a size difference the ports are definitely definitely a little bit bigger on that so what I'm going to do too is I'm just going to clean up I'm going to try to clean up all this stuff so um, for those of you who don't know and I don't know we're going to learn today I got my Dremel. Um, I have a um, a little tool set. I don't know what I did with it. I have a little tool set for this, so I'm just going to go medium speed on this thing. My goal here really is just to clean this up. I'm just cleaning this cylinder up. I'm not going to go too deep, but we're going to see how it runs once I put this thing together. As I get closer to the actual cylinder, uh, I mean the, the inside of the cylinder where the piston is, uh, I'm going to be real careful uh, when I do that. I don't want to damage anything.
it sounds good. And it is the inside uh, looks obviously it looks a little rough, but I have some sandpaper. I'm going to go through and actually uh, sand that, and smooth everything out, make sure the walls are nice and nice and even and nice and smooth. Um, there was another forum that I joined. I don't remember what the name of it is offhand, but there's a forum that I joined who actually encouraged uh, what I, what I'm doing right now. Um, like I said, there's a lot of haters out there, so they'll tell you, no, you got, you got to damage it, you got to screw this up, you got to screw that up. Well, uh, it's okay. You learn from your mistakes, right? It's got to take a little bit more off of here. Anybody who wants to try this at home, don't do it unless you got the ball. Teensy bit more on the top. I want this to be as closely matched as possible. the set looks like if you can see that I don't know if you can see that there those are what the bits look like so 
Uh, we're going to go with a slightly different style bit on here. We can see that works a little better for what I'm trying to do. actually make it a lot more smooth. got everything we got a lot of dust in there uh, I'm gonna get all that cleaned up uh, you got a lot of extra powdery stuff what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up the cylinder uh, I'm gonna get this uh, little port all cleaned up take some sandpaper get it real nice and smooth make sure everything looks good um, and I'll match it to there one more time and uh, I'm going to reinstall the cylinder head on here and then uh, we'll finish putting the bike together and we're going to see how this runs. The average speed uh, on motorized bikes, you know, with a guy my size, it runs anywhere from maybe 23 to 25 mile an hour stock out of the box. Uh, different people say they run different speeds, but that's what they run. Um, no matter what bike I seem to put it on, as long as it's 26 inch, it runs about 23, 25, somewhere in that neighborhood. So. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of performance parts on here. I'm going to add that intake. Um, I'm going to add a few things. I'm going to change some gaskets. I'm going to put an NGK plug on here. I got some upgraded parts I'm going to put on this motor. And we're going to do a test run. We're going to put a speedometer on here and do a test run later on in another segment in another video. We're going to actually see if that uh, increases and helps out. Uh, I don't know if you can see that cylinder right there. How nice and 
nice that looks. That's the intake. The exhaust I haven't messed with yet, but I'm going to do both of those, and then I will be back.